Okay, now I have set up the X-band range-gated FMCW radar, and we have a cal target out there. As you can see, the range, the cal target, which is the brightest target, and you can watch as I move it forward, and the cal target drops out, and I move the gate backwards. So we want the uh, the cal target to be right there. Actually, let's try a different range gate. Maybe we should do a smaller one. Let's try this one. Okay, we'll use a seven and a half kilohertz range gate. That looks better. I don't see any saturation. So we'll use a seven and a half kilohertz range gate. We centered it, cal target, and. Uh, I'm going to run a scan, of, or rather, acquire 1,024 of these for calibration purposes. So let's set that up now. Zero to four. So I'll record 1,024. They'll be averaged, and we'll record um, a background with nothing there. Okay, calibration has been acquired. The next step is the calibration background, uh, which we will start. Over here again, it's going to be 1,024 samples. Now, if it goes. So, once this is complete, we'll do a background scan. Okay, jogging the uh, radar back to home. And then we'll do a uh, background scan of just nothing out there. Okay, so we're going to begin our scan here going to be uh, 192 range profiles at a half inch increment, coherently integrating 10 times each. Oops. There we go. And shown here, I moved the range gate uh, back probably to about 15 feet or so. So we'll let this run, should take about 15 minutes. We'll acquire uh, an image of my bike now, letting the radar go back to rest. But here you can see the target. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, here we are. We're gonna, about to run the radar system. So off it goes. Should be done in about 15 minutes, and we'll have an image of the uh, bike. Take a look at the range profiles right now. Yeah, some of the features are now beginning to show up. Yep, there's some strong returns. So that's good. Hopefully, uh, We'll have a good image here. Okay, now I'm uh, slewing the radar back home. Uh, the image uh, has been acquired, so we'll go and process this. Okay, so I've loaded the um, data onto my computer, and we'll run the MATLAB processing script. Take a look and see what we have here. Hopefully it'll be an image of a bike on radar. Okay, and that is a very good bike image. So the wheel, front wheel, rear wheel, clearly shown, pedal, derailleur, um, chain, top bar, handle, and the saddle. So that is an excellent bike image for a bike sitting on the ground. You can see this bar was very parallel to the radar's range of motion here. It's the brightest thing. So anyway, there you have it. I'll show uh, more radar imagery as well uh, next.